Welcome viewers, this is Windshare. Hope you enjoyed that little intro montage to Naval Strike, the latest DLC for Battlefield 4. Now I know many of you viewers, particularly on PC and Xbox One, are a little jaded right now that this DLC has not been released. It's been delayed until, quote, early April for its release on those platforms. And currently it is available for some odd reason on the PlayStation 4. Uh, now, I guess this kind of goes hand in hand with, you know, exclusivity w with PlayStation 4 players. We were held out of Second Assault for so long, uh, and uh, I don't know, maybe Turtle Pout's fair play. I'm not sure if that's why they decided to leave it on PlayStation 4, because it's not running that good. Um, this game's fun, guys. I think that the DLC, Naval Strike DLC, I'm going to come out and say right now, this is my opinion. I think this DLC is... By far none, the best DLC they've, they've released for Battlefield 4. And I think it has potential to turn around this game and really make it a contender for future first-person shooters and increasing longevity of Battlefield 4. Because let's just face it, there's a lot, of, a lot of animosity out here towards the game. And I'm not really here to discuss that. I'm here to discuss the gameplay and my maps. But I don't know if you guys can see this right now. Lag. Rubber banding galore. Uh, particularly on this map, Operation Metro and uh, was it Nanasha Strike? Those two maps in particular, it's just like, you know, Lang Kang Dam all over again or High End Resort. What is it about these game modes? Uh, well, and it doesn't matter what game mode you're playing. Conquest Large, you're playing uh, Carrier Assaults, uh, what have you, Rush 2. Uh, those maps all the time, severe, and you can even see it in my montage, particularly when I use the uh, the UCAP, this severe rubber banding, and I have no idea why this is happening. You know, player counts doesn't really seem to make any difference. It just, as a match progresses, it happens. And so, what I've found, and I'll show gameplay in the latter half of the video, obliteration runs flawlessly. I have no idea why. There's absolutely no lag, no issues at all, and I've seen that across the board, across all the platforms, all the DLCs, um, for some reason, when you play Obliteration, there is no lag, but yet all the other game modes are in. So that's my biggest criticism, and a lot of people I've talked to, I mean, they argue on PlayStation 4 right now, it's completely unplayable. The lag is so bad. It's so frustrating. I mean, you can see it right here, just the constant twitching, rubber banding. I mean, it's like you try to, try to throw out C4, you try to leapfrog something, you just try to run, move. You're having to do it two, three times just for it to finally register, and I have no idea why this happens. So it's, it's incredibly frustrating, I'll admit. If they can fix this, guys, I mean, everything else I can put up with, uh, the, the quote-unquote netcode, I mean, I don't really think it's that bad. I played on both PC, uh, PC and PS4. I don't think the netcode's really breaking the game. It's, it's frustrating. Uh, don't get me wrong, but number one thing to me is rubber banding. This kind of stuff needs to go, 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 go. Why is it still here in the game? Now, let me give it into this carrier assault, because this gameplay, it's a fun game mode. Let me Don't get me wrong, as you saw, the outside portions of these maps, absolutely gorgeous. The map design is fun. It, it, th these maps, this DLC, is probably... I, I'm going to have to come out and say right now, I mean, playing today, I lost track of time. It was so much fun. Uh, even despite the extreme frustration, you will have a lot of fun playing this DLC. So I encourage you guys, don't give up on the game yet. I hope they can fix this. But this game mode in particular, here you can see how, at, how it works is you capture points outside the match. And those sh shoot missiles towards your opposing uh, team's aircraft carrier. When the damage gets below a certain percentage, like 50%, then you can move into the objective. And there's actually a spawn point that, uh, like a parachute spawn point that opens up above the enemy team's carrier. You can parachute in on it, like you saw me in the beginning. Then you move into these corridors, and it, became, it basically becomes a game of rush. Now, I've never experienced this game mode before, uh, but blending conquest and rush is a ingenious idea and I have no idea why they haven't brought this back until now but thank god they did because that's the first attack point that you uh, take out and then you move into the engine room of the carrier for the second to MCOM to destroy the engine room. Um, so th you know thank god they brought this game mode in because it is very refreshing I really really do enjoy it and, and everybody does it's not just me we're having a blast playing this it, 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 br it brings a different flavor into the match it goes from more outdoors out, you know, large, longer scale combat to close quarters combat inside. It does lead to some issues I've, I've found in the 64 player servers with a grenade spam, screen shaking, but all in all, it's not like it is on Metro. I'm not going to say it's, it's, it's as bad as Metro. I mean, 
you're watching these doors here to make sure the team doesn't flood in. I don't know if you saw in the first clip. They're one-way doors, so the team floods through them and they kind of catch you off guard, so uh, you got to be aware of that. But I'll have more gameplay of that to come. I just kind of want to give you my initial impressions of the DLC. Like I say, I think it's a lot of fun. I love the map design. The Levolution, eh, I don't really see it, but you know what? A lot of people uh, argue that's just kind of a token event here and there anyway, but... I think you can bring the submarine down in this uh, this indoor environment, which I love this indoor environment right here. Um, it just plays out good, guys. This looks good. It plays good. The designs, uh, I mean, the, the, whoever designed these maps is a genius because, I mean, these maps play out incredibly well. Very well-balanced maps from what I've seen so far in these game modes. Of course, this is early in the gameplay. Here I am playing with the new AWS weapon, which... I'm finding it is a pretty good gun. I didn't like it so much on PC, but it seems like I'm, I'm more effective. Maybe it's just my proficiency on the PS4, but I, I'm finding that this weapon is quite good. So you can look for a view of this weapon definitely soon on my channel. But this game mode right here, Obliteration, I had just had to go back to it because it runs flawlessly right now on, on this map pack. So if you guys are playing on PlayStation 4, I would encourage you to try the, this game mode because at least it gives you some kind of objective uh, to... Uh, to take in consideration as opposed to just playing Team Deathmatch or something like that. But you can see these boats getting in here. Just adds a dis different dy dynamic to the map. Um, it's a wipe off the guys off the back. Seeing the boat explode right here. Now I guess you could argue this is Levolution right here. The interactive maps right here. I didn't realize but by pushing this button I allowed that gate to open up into this corridor which allowed the enemy team to grab the bomb and leave this corridor through that waterway which was kind of, you know, unbeknownst to me at the time. I basically allowed the team here to get the bomb, and so I'm trying to get out here on a jet ski to pursue them and chase them down, but by then they just got too much distance. But uh, all in all, Obliteration is a great game mode on this. I love Carrier Assault, a uh, tight mode, whatever you want to call it, back from uh, 2142 for those guys who have been with Battlefield for a long time. Bear with it, guys. I think this game is going to bounce back. I know, I know I'm a big fanboy. But trust me, I, I, if they can fix the rubber band thing, they have it fixed. It works fine with obliteration. So just whatever they need to do, get it working like it does on obliteration. Get the carrier map with the Conquest Large. If the game runs smoothly, I can put up with the rest of the stuff. I really can. Uh, and I think most of you guys can be well as well. But look for more Naval Strike content from my channel to come, guys. I will have more content in depth to come. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. This is Winshear. Thanks for watching.